there's something interesting. Where that fallen tree is. Look at that. And most of the cliff, cliff dwellings are actually underneath of me, to the left and to the right. If you go over where those people are at and actually come around, you can see almost all of them from across the canyon under this side. This is the temple, sun temple. I'll come up over here for a minute. And you can go in. You can go in. You can go in. You cannot go in. Damn it. Mysteries of the Sun Temple. Sun Temple is a never-ending source of speculation for scholars and visitors alike. It was built sometime in the 1200 AD and was part of the community of cliff dwellings that surround it. Its D-shaped outline, no evidence of roofing, few doors or household artifacts, and massive architecture is unlike any other structure in the park. One of the few similar D-shaped buildings found in the region is the only one not built within a pueblo. Could have had a social ritual or even symbolic functions. Some studies suggest it had a role for celestial observations. How did the inspiration to build a structure like Sun Temple arrive in Mesa Verde? The ancestral Pueblo people were in touch with the regional trends thanks to a strong trade network. Items from hundreds of miles away, shells from the Pacific Ocean, parrots from Mexico, copper bells from western Mexico, were traded into the Mesa Verde region. With exotic goods came new ideas and technologies. What interesting, exciting styles or technologies from far away have we imported into our own lives today? Great question. The largest and most striking D-shaped structure in ancestral Pueblo world, such as Pueblo Bonito, are found at, I can't see that, Chaco Canyon in northern Mex New Mexico. Chaco Canyon appears to have played an influential role in the region. I wish I can see inside. There's a hole. Can we see inside? A little bit. Oh. How cool. How cool would it be to go inside? I mean, I actually had to do more of this and cement this in. Still in Colorado, Mesa Verde. It's so beautiful. Thanks for joining the Effective Dog Behavior Tour while we study different parts of America. I'm not sure what this is for. There's no nothing that says anything. Not that I'm not interested. Uh, the East Bay Trail. these connected for the people that lived here and to think there's other parts and other videos I have where people where they lived above ground and then went underground or they they lived underground in the mesas like on top in the dirt here then they moved to cliff, cliff dwellings Isn't that interesting? I would not have made it as one. I would have stayed underground. I don't do sudden drop-offs. There's no river down there. Sorry, I can't really see. Take these rock steps. You know, I'm supposed to be on that side. No, I can go this way. I just need help getting here. Oh. Ooh, this is why. Water runoff, probably. Because there's no roof. Water has to pretty much come somewhere or go somewhere. And then they'll leak down, see, they'll catch. Yeah, this is like aquifer or um, irrigation uh, drainage, drainage, gutter system, I guess. 
because it rains out and I'm sure they have their own specific stuff for all this stuff. So pretty. You go back on the trail. Anyways, how gorgeous is that? Cliffs. It's so pretty. Thank you for joining. Appreciate everybody. I just keep looking around at all the cliffs. Life is good. It's fun if you look for it.